my name is Marco Koschak. I would like to share with you some experience in developing heritage trail through Dolenska and Belakrania in Slovenia. Uh, some 15 years ago, project started and uh, it ends in 2009. And then the, this uh, initiative became one of the products of destination Dolenska, which is southeast of Slovenia. Uh, international uh, know-how was involved uh, when first project started in Slovenia in 1996 uh, by sharing experience from UK uh, Pan-European uh, Rural Development Network uh, ECOVAST and of course Slovenian uh, national and regional institutions uh, being involved in integrated rural community development and uh, protection of uh, nature and culture uh, in Slovenia. Uh, our logo or vision uh, behind this initiative was uh, funny enough uh, being found on a litter bin in Ljubljana and uh, it says tourism your everyday life is someone else's adventure and we took this one as a uh, kind of uh, package with us uh, when talking to people, stakeholders uh, who were involved in projects uh, and in project, namely eight municipalities at the beginning started with this initiative in southeast of Slovenia. And the uh, important fact was also initiative which started in 91 and was launched by Ministry of Agriculture, namely Integrated Rural Development Projects, which was participatory planning process by involving villages in rural Slovenia to think about their future, about their uh, vision. Uh, and a lot of these um, villages and micro uh, environments then developed their plans and strategies also on the field of sustainable tourism which was later on embraced by this project and initiative on the regional scale. Uh, region is somehow of 100,000 people and the important uh, fact was also that the Chamber of Commerce uh, based in this region was uh, keen to take a lead in facilitating uh, the whole initiative for 12 years. Uh, assets like nature, culture and living culture were uh, somehow uh, assessed uh, and the primary focus was on people and their involvement. So we are talking about the participatory process. I can describe this with a proverb. They say it is a, Ch a Chinese one, but it could be also some uh, other uh, uh, by saying if you want one year of prosperity, grow grain. If you want 10 pro, uh, years of prosperity, grow tree. And if you want 100 years of prosperity, then grow people. And basically, this the idea of developing such an initiative was involving people and giving them opportunity for their diversification of economy in rural Slovenia uh, and uh, offering them opportunities for new jobs and, and opportunities for added value on their farmyards. Uh, Slovenia, uh, well, strategic position, uh, uh, more or less, it's clear now. Uh, here, uh, it's also the uh, kind of location of the region, uh, which is bordering Croatia. Uh, and it was also important that then the second project uh, out of Slovenia was developed in Croatia. So on both sides of the border, which also gives uh, opportunities now when Croatia and European Union to develop joint uh, initiatives and tourism offers in, in this part of uh, Europe. Uh, we, in, as I said, involved uh, and try to, to encourage uh, farmers, uh, uh, innkeepers, uh, souvenir producers, so private sector to, to become part of the initiative, uh, offering their uh, products, which uh, that means their everyday life. And of course, open the countryside of southeast of Slovenia for gentle walking, horseback riding, cycling, uh, and of course, uh, 
uh, by that giving as i said opportunities for new income on on farms uh, we started uh, with also farm tourism owners uh, with uh, uh, associations uh, which present uh, living culture in the in the area uh, and try to make a first partnership the, at that time partnership was not known uh, i would say worth and idea and uh, by having a chamber of commerce uh, which represent private sector then municipalities which represented public sector and ngos we started to create an ensemble uh, which which uh, would be a think tank for future tourism development in the region uh, we also talk to producers like uh, uh, for instance beekeepers uh, meat uh, processing wine producers uh, to join to to offer their products uh, one important fact was in 2004 uh, when slovenia entered the european union and new regulation came in, in uh, place uh, we develop uh, um, a scheme to certificate these producers more than 500 of them to be able to to produce further and to sell further on the new regulation uh, and within european union and of course uh, it was really important moment to encourage uh, private sector to to take this opportunity advantage advantage which which was offered by project initiative uh, for instance uh, developments of uh, uh, tourism products in small villages like Knezjavas, uh, which offers a small rural museum, which develops trail, which uh, uh, somehow promotes local characters, was one of the, the main initiatives in the development phase, which took first 18 months. Uh, we tested some uh, uh, early ideas on the market, maybe with children, uh, because they are very sincere and they would tell you straightforward what is working, what is not working. So these were actually lessons which we learned on, on, on uh, our own skin, sometimes pa painful, sometimes uh, give us uh, a, a, a thought uh, in which way to di divert and direct further development. Uh, important element of uh, the, the development was also wine namely uh, a wine trail product uh, uh, project was developed by ministry of agriculture and five wine uh, trails five of 20 were in our region and we strongly then also promote uh, all uh, opportunities which are around wine and of course uh, the the culture of, of wine really uh, starting from producing it then the final tastings and and uh, uh, opportunities of course which which are then on the market to sell uh, widely a lot of training was uh, offered to farmers to become more skilled uh, if you want uh, sommeliers sometimes to 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 advise people in their restaurants or in on farm tourism so which wine a company is good uh, which food and so forth and so forth so basically uh, this was a lot of uh, in investment in human capacity uh, all the time as i said 150 sites were assessed from different perspectives, from the point of carrying capacity, market opportunities, uh, kind of entrepreneurial potential around the sites, uh, quality of nature, quality of culture, uh, um, kind of uh, network between the local stakeholders and, and so on. And we finally uh, choose or select 28 of them, which uh, were then involved or included in the regional product. Uh, and then from then, of course, uh, marketing uh, uh, took place. So these sites were uh, also accompanied by stories, legends, some exciting elements like <laughs> nature uh, or, or population of, of uh, brown bear in part of the, of the region. Uh, and of course, uh, by uh, living culture represented by people who are still uh, keen and skilled to do traditional souvenirs 
uh, and uh, uh, I would say uh, artisans who joined uh, the the initiative with their with their uh, projects and products. We develop two models regional on a regional level, which basically represents and the first model rep, flower model represents this the situation and the stage of the tourism when we started and the fact is that at that time concentration of tourism was based around the capital of the region novo mesto which uh, was somehow offering accommodation and uh, providing services of course important for tourists but then uh, from the sustainability point of view we believed that uh, we should diverse more into the the region and by offering kind of opportunities for all other small localities to uh, uh, at the same time by providing uh, accommodation on on farms or or in guest houses offers also local attractions of nature uh, culture and living culture and by linking uh, these together uh, somehow offering a product let's say of seven days so this was initial idea i will uh, explain later it was a little bit optimistic and uh, it proves that we need to to change a little bit of strategy later on based on an experience on and some lessons learned in in the process of marketing of course uh, important element of the uh, uh, the project was also creation of the partnership of 32 partners starting with eight and uh, at the end of 2009 when project uh, finished and become the product of the uh, development uh, destination uh, was 32 partners cooperating for 12 years uh, we had municipalities we had chamber of uh, agriculture forestry commerce uh, local uh, uh, companies uh, tourist associations and then owners of accommodation pensions farms restaurants etc and also support partners on the national national level like slovenian tourist board ministries develop business development centers and regional development agencies which which create created a momentum uh, for as i said 12 years of strategic approach and development of the product marketing and uh, training which we basically concentrate uh, six years it took us six years to involve also a commercial partner uh, with whom which help we then address international markets uh, namely compass novo mesto and we then also uh, created more robust strategy of appearing on international scene like uh, uh, fairs or hosting uh, um, uh, tourism industry uh, tour operators journalists uh, and of course it is uh, importantly to focus that uh, we also made a kind of at the beginning quite naive approach to sell not known region in slovenia for seven days but we also then learned that uh, we need to link and uh, market research which was uh, under uh, somehow uh, showing the direction was uh, done um, in the time when uh, cheap air uh, operation uh, uh, companies started to uh, somehow come become uh, operational in uh, neighboring of Slovenia, for instance, Klagenfurt, Trieste, and later on also Ljubljana, uh, namely to link a uh, kind of gateway through of, of these uh, airports to through the visits to tourist icons of Slovenia like Bled, Ljubljana, Postojna, and then also adding to this uh, one or two days for the beginning of the region and this proves to be quite successful later on also we extended this to croatian side uh, uh, and I, I, as i said it proves that this idea to to uh, somehow uh, link the unknown uh, region to already existing icons uh, was quite successful for conclusion uh, i think it is important to say that uh, it was uh, mix feelings at the beginning with stakeholders uh, particularly being small family businesses how on earth they can 
make tourism uh, uh, and, and confront, confront somehow the big players in the region, namely SPAS, which were taking 90 and more percent of the tourism flow in the region at the beginning. But when we started to cooperate and when we get stronger by uh, having also formal agreements first, uh, and I said four years, four, uh, four times three years agreement, uh, well, we uh, somehow proved to be serious uh, as a partnership and also uh, the big <laughs> fish joined to the, uh, to the thinking that we need to work together as a destination. Uh, stakeholders in, in order to, to promote, to manage destination, to somehow uh, create joint vision and regional brand, to address key markets together, and finally to think about joint organization, or organizational structure. And I'm proud to say that uh, today, uh, in uh, 2014, uh, we held the same partnership, uh, uh, which is a, a platform, a, a ground for the destination management, and the, the, the uh, partnership is alive, and it is in, in condition which uh, somehow promise that uh, destination uh, tourism products will be further promoted and developed. And uh, just to underpin what I said, here is some statistics uh, which shows that uh, product is still fresh, product is still in a way uh, demanded on the market. Uh, and uh, for the conclusion, I just offer you some key findings, key points which I won't comment in depth, namely I mentioned more or less through the presentation all of them uh, and uh, I would conclude with the saying that not every action brings uh, luck but there is no luck without action. Thank you very much and uh, if, there be, if there would be any interest, interest for uh, any follow-up or further discussion on this topic, I would be more than pleased to uh, offer you my assistance. Thank you.